Hey there, it's Mindy, and in this video, I'm sharing how to make this simple frame using the miter saw. So first you'll want to choose what wood you want to use. I'm just using this trim. This is from the specialty trim section in the big box stores. And you'll want to set up your saw. Safety, get your hearing and your eye protection. And always check to make sure your blade is on tight and everything is secure. Next, we're going to measure the length of our cuts. And I've already cut the first corner off. I did a miter cut, 45 degrees. And to get the length that I want, first I need to know the inside measurement of my frame, which is 15 and a half. From there, I need to add the width of this board, which is two and a quarter to both sides to get the long outside measurement. So my piece is actually gonna be 20 inches long at the longest points. And that'll be my outside measurement. So there's two measurements you need when you're making a frame. And we're gonna do that for both sides or for all four pieces of the frame. So now that I have my piece measured and marked, I'm gonna set up the saw. So I need to cut the miter this way. I'm gonna turn the saw the other way. And I'm making sure to lock that knob. So my cut is set up. I'm not gonna do it just yet. I need to put on my hearing. Uh, protection and eye protection, but what I'm going to do is start the blade, let it come to full speed, and bring it down at a nice even pace and let it cut through the piece. Also, just know that when you make your mark, you want to cut on the opposite side of that mark so that you're getting your full measurement. To assemble my frame, once I had all my pieces cut, I just flipped it over to the opposite side and then I used some wood glue, um, making sure to put a generous amount on there, but not too much. And I also used my staple gun and just made sure that the staples were short enough and weren't going to go through to the other side of the frame. I also use uh, parchment paper once I remembered just under each corner to catch any glue drips so it wouldn't stick to my surface. And once I had all the corners glued and stapled, I let it set and dry fully before I moved it. This frame is going in our bedroom. Uh, we have this electrical panel because our bedroom is a previously converted garage. So I made uh, a piece of art to go on this frame, which I'll show you in another video. And I just put this up with some Velcro command strips so that we could easily take it down when we need to access that panel. But here is the final look. And I'm loving how this looks in our room. Let me know what you think. And let me know if you will try making a mitered frame for yourself. Leave any questions in the comments. And as always, thanks for watching.